It's often difficult to get folks to talk about money, and farmers aren't any different. But we were able to catch up with Brian and Nick Jorgensen, who were happy to discuss their economics and to share some of their out-of-the-box thinking with us. In the next five videos, we'll present a case study of the Jorgensen Land and Cattle Partnership in ideal South Dakota. And in this first video, Brian provides some of the context to the thinking that shapes the way they see their operations economics. One of the greatest teachers that, that I have ever had in doing what we've done is the native prairie system. We're fortunate enough to have about 7,000 acres of native prairie uh, in our operation. And not that I spent a lot of time, you know, with the cows, that's not my passion, but the native system itself taught me a lot about how mother nature works, how the kinds of things that she can grow, because really that system dictates what we can and can't do from the crop side. So if you understand how that system works, then we bring some of those management aspects back to the crop side. Obviously, no-till is paramount in that whole scenario, but along with that is the livestock as well. Now, yes, we have always had some level of, of uh, managing residues with livestock, putting cows out on corn stalks, for example, which has been a practice for many, many years. But the cover crop, uh, the addition of the cover crop in our rotation, for example, behind the winter wheat, has led us to a whole other dimension of that grazing capacity that we didn't have before. And what we have found is that if we can put livestock on more acres more often, we do a couple of things. First of all, we manage the residues that are out there more efficiently. We cycle more nutrients. But the third, I think, really important aspect of it is we're taking pressure away from our native prairie system. We're giving it a chance to rest and rejuvenate. So we are learning from the native prairie system and bringing some of those ideas back to the crop site. And conversely, we're taking some of those same concepts now and putting them back on the native grass side by intensely grazing and then letting rest those areas. And I think that's really going to help both sides of the operation. What I hear Brian say here is that if we figure out how to work with nature, we make more money. Exactly. Now stay tuned for Nick Jorgensen's first analysis. See you soon.